We're here with Wendy Galfound and Ojo Caliente to find out the magical powers of the springs. I have a couple of questions. I actually have a lot of questions. <laughs> and I would like to know about the name Ojo Caliente. Where does that come from? Well, it was the Spanish who came in the 1500s and they saw the beautiful bubbling hot springs coming out of the base of the mountain out of a, a round circle. So they gave it the name Ojo Caliente, which means hot eye. So round circle, hot eye, Ojo Caliente. Which is your logo, I noticed it. I bought a hat. <laughs> of course, I've already worn it. The most interesting point, I think, this is the original fountain of youth. And that's what the show is all about, how to reverse aging. Why is it called that? Essentially, Ojo is one of the oldest natural health resorts in the country. It was opened in 1868, and back then, people were coming for the cure. Um, it was the Native Americans of the area who believed that the springs had all these healing powers. Um, Ojo has been a gathering place for diverse groups of people for thousands of years. As far as we know, we're the only hot springs in the world with four unique sulfur-free mineral waters and that's iron, arsenic, lithia, and soda. What are the components as far as rejuvenating powers? What does the iron do? The iron um, is believed to be very beneficial for the blood and the immune system. Okay. And again, all of the minerals are helpful for skin conditions and muscles and just relaxing the mind, body, and spirit in mm -hmm. general. Mm -hmm. And then the minerals um, have another layer to that. So the soda is actually sodium bicarbonate, so very, very good for the digestive system. And you don't drink it. You know, these are the minerals that are absorbed through the skin. Uh, lithia, which if you know the drug lithium, uh, was I'm very familiar good. with it, but I haven't <laughs> used it, thank God. Uh, uh, it's been known to be an antidepressant, but okay. it's also known to heal some stomach ailments So it's as very well. uplifting. Just being, actually, the power of the springs alone is very uplifting, and it does take you into a relaxed mode more than anything that I've experienced. Well, as far as we know, Ojo was always a place of peace. Um, it's the Native Americans in the area um, who passed down all these wonderful legends, but they say that any warring tribes in the area would always lay down their weapons in honor of the sacred water. Um, we're nestled here in a stunning valley, so there's also a beautiful serenity. Um, what a beautiful story. I, I mean, love we love it. to call it an yes. oasis, and, in, and even though we're relatively close to Santa Fe and Taos, you still feel like you're in a secluded oasis when you come here. You know, and, and actually, it's, it's a pure act of Mother Nature on how mm -hmm. the indivi individual springs have a higher concentration of the mineral content. Essentially, they're artesian wells. Water collects under the ground from snow runoff, rain, uh, the natural aquifer from rivers, and that what it does is it mixes with volcanic ash and the heat causes the water to go to the surface and as the water passes over various rock formations it, it takes on the mineral content so all of the springs do have trace elements of all the minerals but it's just this again pure magic of mother nature how they have the higher concentration and what's so interesting is right now in healing it's all about the minerals they're saying we're depleted of minerals we're not getting enough minerals in the food and vitamins take your minerals so this is awesome um, I loved the fact that I hate hot water <laughs> and I came here my husband's been trying to get me here forever and there's some history with that but I, I put my foot in I started to go in and I've never really gone into hot tubs or anything but the fact that it was all natural really lured me. And when I got in, it's just won me over. I just loved it. Well, the other really important thing that um, we do here in terms of keeping the water clean is the water is constantly flowing through UV and ozone. I'm so glad she said this. Um, there is a mud pool here that I got into, and I don't do mud, but I, I took one for the team. and. Um, Tell me, why is the mud so special? You need two things for the mud to work. One is this beautiful radiant heat of the sun, um, and the other thing is to have the minerals in the mud itself. So um, Again, we love the minerals. So what we call it how to mud up, which is basically first you rinse your body um, with water to get it moist, and then you slather the mud all over your body, and then we say you bake in the sun until done. And essentially, it's the radiant heat of the sun that dries the mud on your skin and as it's drying it draws the impurities and the toxins from the surface level of the skin and then when you rinse off your skin just feels baby soft. 
Everything about Oho is different from any type of a resort because it's ceremonial. And whenever you have ceremony, you're actually locking into the mind a kind of sense of calmness. But when you go into the pools and you put the mud on and then you um, walk the labyrinth and then you have the tea, it's all part of ceremony that we've lost in our common everyday culture. That's and true. that part of ceremony was actually created to relax the mind. So you did it beautifully. Now what about the word spa? Where does word, that come from? The word spa, well actually it is the name of a town in Belgium, um, but traditionally it's actually an acronym for the Latin phrase salut per aquas, and that means health through water. So the quintessential spas of Europe and Asia for thousands of years have always had a water component. Um, so and, and did you know in Hungary at the age of 14, it's a family outing, they take you to spas there. I mean, it's a lifestyle. Yes. And here we just, we do it as a luxury. Exactly. We need to do it as a lifestyle. Hence, ojo caliente. And thank you so much for being here, Wendy.